is Flo? Anybody know where Flo is? Are you, are you Flo? Yes. Is this the thing you gave my husband? Oh yeah, yes, the name your prize tool. This is Flo. If you turned on your TV in the last decade, you might be familiar with her. She's been the face of progressive ads since 2008. Yeah! And she's partly responsible for turning the brand into a household name. In fact, before Flo, Progressive held just a 4% market share. Today, it's over 13%, making Progressive the third largest auto insurer in the United States. But Flo almost didn't right? exist. We've all been through a lot this year. That in fact, yeah. Flo was never part of the plan. This is the unlikely story of how Flo upended the car insurance world. Don't just listen to me. Listen to these happy, progressive customers. Life isn't just measured in days or years. It's measured in doorways and walkways. In the late 90s and early 2000s, insurance advertising was bland, and that makes sense. Here's Adweek's senior editor, Robert Clare. To measure their own needs. The ads had to be straightforward because they were selling a very straightforward product. It was a very sober product. Insurance ads were very much customer acquisition ads, meaning that they were about saying something will be cheaper, you can get a better deal. They were very functional in terms of trying to persuade people to change insurers. To this point, insurance, like many financial services, marketed themselves on the same basis of price and convenience. Progressive wants you to know that six-month rates can really vary from company to company. On average, you could be paying $522 more than you have to. People tend to have bad experiences with their insurance companies. You know, if you're going to market insurance, you're starting with that handicap. You're starting with that preconceived notion of, this is going to be expensive, this is going to be confusing, and I'm only going to need it if something bad happens to me. Typically, insurance ad followed one of two models. The first featured comparisons with a voiceover and some type of reassurance at the end. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. The other model highlighted life's worst moments. Floods, fires, burglaries. Most of us look at the world like nothing bad will ever happen. An Allstate agent knows that all too often, it does. And the marketing of insurance historically taken through the traditional routes has to talk about something bad happening to you. And that's generally not a really great way to approach marketing if you want people to like your brand. But things changed in 1999 with the evolution of the internet. This is my final plea. I am a gecko, not to be confused with Geico, which could save you hundreds on car insurance. Geico's real Stop innovation going. was figuring out that they could actually market directly to consumers to get people to come online and buy their advertising that way. Night and day, the cool. Geico's Gecko added an element that hadn't been seen in this space before. Humor. It's so easy to use Geico. And it was successful. A caveman could do it. What? <laughs> so successful that Geico doubled down. I did not know you were there. I didn't know I was Berkshire Hathaway, you know, which is the Geico brand, was growing quickly because they were the first to really break out the mold. Progressive also tried this approach. But humor alone wasn't enough to move the needle. I just want to see your price and some of the prices of your competitors. What? They Come needed on, something guys. more. I just want to get they the needed team. a brand identifier. Yeah. In 2007, Progressive hired Boston-based advertising agency, Arnold Worldwide, to head its new marketing efforts. They had a plan, symbolically simplify the complex and laborious insurance buying process. This is a Progressive Insurance Superstore, an almost ethereal, all-white shopping warehouse in which all your insurance needs were visualized in boxes. Welcome to Progressive.com. Originally, the Superstore okay? was supposed to be the star of the ad, $350. with this unknown actress playing the run-of-the-mill employee. That is, until she ad-libbed the wow. words. Wow, I know, I say it louder. That bit of improv pivoted the ad's attention to the actress and changed the trajectory of Progressive forever. Comes with concierge claim service, local response claim service. Robert Clara, who interviewed Jeff Charney, Progressive CMO, several times explains why Flow worked so well. And it was this really weird, quirky, uncomfortable moment that she created. As soon as the Progressive brass saw that, specifically Charney, he said, you know what, 
We're going to make Flow the center of our marketing now. According to Progressive, when the commercial aired, 80% of its viewers loved it. Finally, Progressive had a cultural breakthrough, a character, more importantly, a human that an audience could identify with. And Courtney didn't have to search too hard for her inspiration for the Flow character. She found it at home in her mother. What they were looking for was basically a friendly neighborhood waitress. She is super friendly and nice, almost to the point of madness. I said, I can do that. I went straight to my mom and credited her for Flo's personality. Progressive featured Flo in the Superstore for the next two years before breaking her out into real life scenarios. Flo established that the company could actually turn its brand over to characters who were a little kooky, but entirely sincere. And that again, I think is a mark of frankly, a brand's faith in its, in its own creative. These ads rocketed Flo's popularity and increased Progressive's likability. In 2011, Progressive's chief marketing officer, Jeff Charney, received Adweek's Brand Genius Award, which honors the marketer of the year. Yes! That following year, Flo was dubbed one of AdAge's top 10 female ad icons of all time. And in an unexpected honor, Flo broke into what was once in an exclusive realm for superheroes and Disney princesses, Halloween costumes. I want you to think about this, that people go out for Halloween dressed as an insurance spokesperson. That is a very, very powerful indicator that Flo and Progressive have connected with the consuming body of America. Since her introduction in 2008, Stephanie Courtney has appeared in over 150 commercials as Flo. No other actor has appeared in as many commercials as the same character. In the first 10 years of Flo's run, Progressive sales have more than doubled. Of course, we can't definitely place all of Progressive's success on the shoulders of one character, but it would be hard to argue that she didn't substantially contribute. If you like that one, you're gonna love the next one. Subscribe so you don't miss it. Today, Progressive's market share stands at 13%, with over $40 billion in premiums written, making it the third largest insurer in the United States. Not a bad place to be when not so long ago the brand was sitting at the bottom of the list with just a 4% market share. What are your thoughts on Flow? Do you love or hate her? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time.